The second learning type is the logical learner. I'm not doing them in any particular order, uh, so it's not the actual number two. You're going to notice that some of you, that most of the time we have more than one learning type. There's, a, there's definitely a primary one, but there's some secondary ones as well. So you may notice a few of them that work together. The logical learner is your very structured, very orderly learner of students. Um, you know, they're going to love the color coded stuff. You know, everything is in its place. Everything is tucked away where they're supposed to be. Color coding, alphabetical order, that kind of thing, or everything needs to be structured. That, that gives them a sense of security. That gives them a sense of control. So those are the students that will love to have highlighters with different colors so that they can highlight their different topics a certain way. They're the ones that, the younger ones with the blocks, you know, <laughs> uh, they will stack them uh, by size, by color. They're your mathematical type of, of students. Uh, so to enhance the learning experience for them in your class without disrupting the others, uh, of course, they're the ones that if you have a messy classroom, they're not going to be able to learn. So they could be the quiet ones because they're so orderly and they need that. But uh, let's face it, teachers are hoarders <laughs> most of the time. There's way too much stuff in the classrooms and that is stopping them from being able to concentrate. Everything is so all over the place. Everything is so messy. Uh, there's too much stuff on the walls that it, it actually affects them uh, subconsciously. They're not aware of it, but they're not comfortable in a classroom that's very cluttered because it's not orderly, orderly right? It's not, it doesn't have a, a logical order to it. So in order to help with that in the classroom, include systems and sequence in your presentation. So have graphs, have bar graphs have color coded, like I said, different topics. Your math could be blue, your uh, reading could be green. So you you know, you know assign the different colors, they're gonna love that. You can have them help you color code your, your subjects, they're gonna love it. So again, color code your lessons. They're gonna know that they need to go and grab the green folder if they're learning, they need to read something. They're gonna know they grab the blue folder if you're, if you're doing math. So they're going to be very self-sufficient students in the classroom if everything is in order for them. Alphabetically works for the older kids. Uh, color coding works, numbers as well. You can have uh, one for reading, two for, you know, you could work it the way that you want, but those are your students that are going to be able to straighten up your classroom very, very well. <laughs> they're the ones that are going to want the names on the hooks, on the desks. You know, they're, they're great, great students to have to declutter your classroom. Um, like I said earlier, sort your academic material in alphabetical order and numerical order and categories and themes. So for your younger ones, you could have uh, reading stuff or the elephants. Uh, you know, you could have uh, a theme if you wanted to. Whatever works, but something that's structured enough for them to, to feel very comfortable in the class. Uh, 